What do I love about the sport? Uh, well, I love being out on the water, first of all. Being outside, and it's a beautiful sport, being in the water. Everything, I like, I like the fitness, I enjoy the being outdoors and, you know, doing the sports outside of the gym. The traveling, uh, the meeting the people, the other people that are, you know, in the same kind of, uh, you know, position that we're in. The one thing I like about this sport, it's like all inclusive, like we don't have to, disabled people don't paddle on their own, we are, we paddle with able bodies, so we are always like kind of together, involved with each other. I like being in the water because it's really free, like on the land I have like limitations when it comes to walking and running and stuff but in the water um, I don't and it's yeah it's just a freedom. It is a freedom they um, you, you feel good about being in a boat the, the um, prothesis is left on the dock the wheelchairs are left on the dock and you're in this boat paddling like other people just having the freedom of paddling on the water. We have different groups of paddlers at the Canoe Club. We have an introductory program for new people to the sport. Where you can come down uh, and learn canoe, kayak, outrigger, and those programs are geared for people with special needs like autism and Down syndrome, or people with mobility issues, so people with visual impairments, amputees, wheelchair sports. The other program we have available is high performance for those paddlers that want more than the six, six days. Where if you're really interested in the sport, you can come down and train on a regular basis and you can compete at local, national, and even international regattas in small boats in canoe, kayak, and outrigger. You can come out for three days a week and join our master's program or the high performance group that I coach trains six days a week in the summer and mostly in the winter as well. So there's a lot of pre preparation that goes into it and uh, the training, the training's hard, Mary pushes us. My particular group likes to use Variety Village, so we work out there three days a week to do cardio and weights and then twice a week we go to our canoe club and use a kayak erg and they um, go over their technique there as well as getting further cardio through that. Since I started Training in this sport, I'm getting more healthy. My body getting more strong. The interesting thing with paddle all with people with physical disabilities is you have to figure out how to use their ability that they have in order to have balance. So when you're an amputee, you have to figure out how can you use part of your leg that you're able to use to your benefit to paddle properly and to keep the balance. It's not easy, especially when you are disabled and uh, paraplegic, because sitting in the kayak, it's a big challenge. I have to keep the balance, move the boat, and go fast. So those are the challenge, and uh, that I like it. Uh, the competition is, uh, is you know, the biggest part of it. It's, I'm very competitive, so you know, it's always a kind of rush feeling. It's, uh, it's, it's high energy, we're all pretty stoked. It's a good feeling, it's all good, yeah. I'm passionate about coaching. I love coaching, whether it be at my school I coach at, or at young kids and under 15 year olds, or the Paddle All program. I love to see people reach their goals. On the kayak, I participate in the World Championship, para canoe in Europe and um, uh, Budapest last year, and I came six. So I became a star now. <laughs> well, so far I travel like, you know, Vancouver, um, like mostly in Canada and then Lake Placid in Florida. I'm hoping to, you know, qualify for, you know, worlds and then travel, you know, all over. So I've been competing uh, for Canada now, this is my third year, so hopefully this year I will qualify again to go to the World Championship in Germany. The ultimate goal, of course, is going to the Paralympics in the 2016. I'm hoping that our club can continue to offer these outreach programs for 
people in the community who don't have the opportunity to get out on the water, to get in touch with nature in the, in the middle of a big city, and we need uh, financial resources to be able to continue to offer these services to the community. We're looking for individuals, we're looking for companies, corporations who are willing to sponsor these programs so that we can continue to offer them to the community at large. It's healthy living and it's also a social factor in there as well. We have a lot of fun, we laugh, we train hard, but we have a lot of fun doing it as well. I have great friends, many new great friends. I mean, I started the sport three years ago and uh, since then, you know, we've become very close, very close friends. It's like a camaraderie, right? I mean, we're all doing the same sport. We're all, we all have a disability and uh, we're all finding a way to make it work. And um, it's great. I would recommend anyone of any age to come down to the Bombay Beach Canoe Club. Um, we have paddling for kids from eight years of age up to and over 65 years of age. We want to try and get as many people down to the club as possible. Whatever your ability, whatever your uh, experience has been with either sport or paddling, we just want you to come down and share the enthusiasm, share our space, and share our love of the sport. And we encourage all people with any physical disability, intellectual disability, or any family to come out and try paddling.